Hello Internet and welcome to One Wet Foot. Uh, this is my first video, so let's see how it goes. Not using the GoPro, not using anything fancy, so bear with me. Uh, what I'd like to introduce you to is an old tent of mine. It's a very old friend, and when I started in the outdoors, I had no clue, I had no gear. And when I got into kayaking, I realized I just wanted something simple, uh, quick to set up, for, you know, overnight trips. And I picked up the Micro Swift by Walrus, which unfortunately um, is no longer available on the market, but you can still pick them up on Craigslist and other gear swaps. I've seen them uh, popping up for under 50 bucks sometimes. Well worth getting. These are uh, simple to set up, very lightweight. I use them for cycling as well as hiking before kayaking. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's very roomy if you are a small hobbit-sized camper like myself. Uh, bigger people uh, might find it a little more cramped, but still, it is a luxury bivy. Um, when you look at other bivy sacks, they're not built for comfort, they're built for survival. This will actually give you a bit of elbow room. And uh, that's the real thing I loved about it. I could slip in a couple of dry bags in there with me, have extra gear, the vestibule, uh, when the fly is set up, it is quite ample, and it's not so uncomfortable to wiggle in and out of it. So let's see how it looks. Okay, two poles, very simple. Unfortunately, it is not a freestanding tent, as you can see. Uh, you do have to peg it out. Um, and the fly, which I won't show you today, uh, actually attaches uh, with clips. So it's very simple to put on. Ta-da! There you are. Under a minute, you have a shelter. Now let's take a look inside. Hey, Gooseberry. You're my producer today? Okay. So here we are. The uh, Micro Swift. Single peg at the back, or the uh, foot end, rather. It's about six feet long. And around three feet wide at its widest. There's the side pockets. And I've got my uh, three-quarter length thermo rest inside. And let's throw in a uh, sleeping bag and see what it looks like kitted out. So, very easy. As you can see, loads of room, and uh, a lot of headroom, a lot of foot room, and uh, yeah, you can hunker down in this thing for quite a while, quite comfortably, wait out the weather, but always remember, bring a book. Anyway, um, like I said, they're not available, but there's a lot of uh, similar tents on the market. Really, I highly recommend looking for them, because if you want something quick and easy just for you and uh, easy to deal with this is the one all right
That's it for now from One Wet Foot, and all I can tell you, please keep your feet dry. <laughs>